welcome to Lesbian Knows Best. I'm Vicki Wagner, and with me today is my guest, Ray Savant, and we're going to be talking about the male ego today. So ladies, listen in. I want you to know how men really think about themselves. And guys, you might be able to learn a little thing, too. So Ray, tell me a little bit about yourself. You're from New York City. Oh, yeah. You're a boxer. Yep. Yeah, you like to box. I'm a gladiator, baby. And I heard that, you know, you have a really big ego. Why do you think you have such a big ego? What's so big about it? Well, I mean, Vicki, you got to understand. I mean, look at me. God bless me. I mean, in my other life, I had to have been a rock or something. Because God just went all out this time. I mean, I'm six foot four. I'm 230 pounds of beautiful chiseled muscle, optimized for combat. I've got the arms of a blacksmith, the legs of a god, midsection like a Roman centurion's armor, a smile like this. I mean, my face, my sculpt beautifully sculptured nose, my luscious lips, which I, people made fun of me. Okay, now, uh, now Ray, elementary school. you even answered us in, in your application for the show that you even believe that you have a beautiful phallus. Oh, yes. My phallus is beautiful. Okay. It's perfectly shaped. It's okay. See, there's several things about it that make it so amazing. One, that it, it's extremely vascular. Okay. Do, you think, do most men think this way, right? Do most men think they have a really beautiful phallus? I, I don't think so. Uh, well, perhaps they do. I don't know. I, I honestly haven't had this chat with many men because these days men are very insecure well, come about on. You know, buddies things. talk. Hey, we got a little pussy here and there. What yeah, do you think? Yeah, but we don't really talk about our anatomy, you know. Is it because maybe you're inadequate about it? Or why do you think most men don't talk about it? Uh, fear of homosexuality, fear of being perceived as really? homosexual, yeah, homophobia. That's a big thing with straight men these why, days. Why is that such a big, I mean, honestly, I mean, you think you're a Greek goddess, you got the chisel mail, why would a man... A Greek god. Okay, a big Greek god, I'm sorry, you're right. Why would it offend you if a man found you attractive? I mean, don't you want oh, to be don't. like... I, it doesn't Remember the Greek statues back then? They oh, were all yeah. chiseled. Oh, Most yeah. men were the ones who carved those. Of course, yeah. So, But it doesn't flatter you if a man finds you attractive? Oh, I love it, man. I know they find me attractive. Okay. I get hit by gay men all the time. I have no problem with okay, it. Okay, but you just think that the reason you don't talk to other guys about your... Well, well, the thing is, I wouldn't talk... I don't mind talking about it. I wouldn't talk about it because other guys would be uncomfortable around it, you know? Okay. That's just the way it is these days. Now, basically, your, your male ego, it's like this big, macho, bravado guy, and, you know, but it's not really getting you that... But it's not really getting you that well with relationships, is it? No, it's not working out at all. I mean, how's that working for you, honestly? I've gone on some legendary dry spells, man. You wouldn't think a man this beautiful would go on some dry spells. I've been on some dry spells in New York, though, six, seven, eight months, no pussy at all, man. I mean, it's like nasty chicks wouldn't even talk to me. It was bad, you know? It was that bad? Oh, yeah. I've got some legendary ones, baby. But then, like, after that, like, I'll meet some okay, hot model in the subway. And do I'll you think, though, do you think that maybe your big ego might have a little bit to do with why you can't get a date? No. I don't think so at all. I just think I'm not meeting women on my level. Because when I meet a woman on my level, that's even like one or two levels below me, because let's face it, no woman is on my level. I mean, come on. But uh, when I do meet that kind of woman, it's all smooth sailing. In fact, they hit on me. They pick me up. Okay, but do you think that most men have a problem if they have a big ego? Do you think that that's what's hindering them to find a date? You know what? I really can't talk about most men because like, I'm a god and they're just peasants. You know, I mean, look oh, at Oh, okay. I mean, so you they, think most other men are peasants compared to you? Of course. I mean, look at this. I mean, like, uh, come on, man. It's like style, genetics, intellect, education. I mean, no, nah, man. They can't touch me. So that's what pisses me off. Like, why are women fooling around with these scrubs? Like, okay, so you're jealous of the other guys who are actually less godlike, who are actually are getting some pussy. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. It's not natural. It's like Tupac says, why are you rolling with this weak scrub? Okay, when so you can be hitting it with a thug. Okay, so you basically think that women should be more attractive to big manly men and not the little nerdy guys that make, say, a couple hundred grand a year? Yeah, if, if I'm the alpha male, man. Like, when, I, when the young lion rolls in, like, he takes over the pride. Any children that the females have had from the other lion, they get eaten, man. I eat the children. Okay. And then it's done. They're all mine. That's the way it should be. Okay. Anything else is a lie. It's uncivilized. Okay, but you're, but it's not working for you. It, it, something's wrong. It's nothing wrong with me. Okay, something so, wrong but with your problem, else. I mean, your problem is, is getting a date from a woman, or is it getting a number? Yeah, I can get numbers easy, but numbers don't mean Are shit. Are they giving you wrong numbers? No, I never get a wrong number. I always okay. get the number, but they don't answer, or they text, or I go back and forth, and nothing happens. It's like, you know, it's like, what's up, man? So they give you the wrong number, they give you the correct number, and then you call them, and then what? You go over, you hit it, what happens? I don't even get to that point most of the time. It's like I'll call and they're like, oh, I'm busy, I'm working. Like in New York, everyone's busy. So they're blowing you off? Pretty much, yeah. Okay, so they're blowing you off. Do you think that has anything to do with your ego? No, man. I just think they're not ready for a man as beautiful as me. But then I see them with some dude. He's a nothing, man. Okay, right. He's like a four. I'm like an 11 out of 10. Like that's what it is. Okay, this, you know this is a show about helping men how to get laid, right? Yeah. Or part of the show is about helping men. 
All right. Okay, so we have a pattern here. You, you're a great looking guy. You got okay. rock hard legs. Uh, Ray's even wearing leopard underwear today. He's got a nice. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a, got a nice. Oh, you want to? It's a thong it actually. <laughs> so I got a. This shoe is. He's got a. He's got it. He's got himself a I nice. I like thongs. He's got a nice thong on, it's but actually, thong. it's not working for him. And the male ego, and what we're hearing is that most men who have this big ego, they they consider themselves perfect. They have this Greek god body. He considers himself to have a nice phallus. I really don't know what that means because I don't myself have a phallus. Um, I don't know if it's long, big, fat, short. I don't know what it's consider just like rock hard. It's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so basically the problem is is that you have the complete package, but you're actually not getting what you want, and that's the pussy. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. But honestly, my standards are very high. Like, honestly, right now, because I've been saving up my nut for so long, I've got, I, like, now, honestly, like, I won't just bust on any chick. Like, if I'm going to bust on a chick, she had, it was, like, you have to understand, my nut now is the nut of a champion. Like I'm a champion. Okay, it's a, it's magic what, elixir. But what, we, you know, like. but what we want to get to the heart of the problem is that, first of all, most women, okay, this is how a man really thinks. A man thinks of himself as a great god. He thinks he can go on and on, and he wonders why a woman will not go out with him. Okay, so now basically, you're missing the whole thing, and that's the vulnerability of a woman. Okay, so you're totally missing that. Uh, you may have the whole entire package, but a woman might not, she might want some more than that. She may not care about the size of your penis or that it's beautiful. She may not care that your muscles are tight. She may want a little bit more of that, a little bit more kind, softer ray. Is there a kind No, of man. Because when you show them that kind piece, they tear it up like vicious wolverines, man. You can't show them any weakness. They're monsters, man. Okay. They're like, they all have, women are like little itty bitty men. They're like little Napoleons. You know, they have these, and once you show them that weakness, like, you have to say, I was a fat kid growing up. I was a total nerd. I was a geek. That's why I'm so I'm so brilliant. I'm a genius too. You probably okay, do guess, you, but. but do you think that maybe thinking that way had anything to do with you're not getting any dates? You're actually not actually getting the relationships with the woman. So what I want the viewers to know is that men, while you may be having a Greek god body and you might have a nice penis or a nice phallus, like a beautiful. Be a beautiful phallus, yes. as Ray says, that's not all a woman's looking for. A woman is looking for a nice, kinder, gentler side. And maybe when you approach a woman, you don't need to be coming at it so raw like that. Maybe you come at it from a sneak attack almost. And you, you come up to a woman and you show her your kind side. Because a woman wants to know that you can empathize with her and that you're vulnerable. That's what a woman wants. Yes, does she look at your body and does she think, oh my God, look at this body, I'd like to sleep with him. Oh yeah, I'm sure she does. But the what I'm point I want to make is that male ego, that huge driven, save it for the locker room and the guys, save it for the football game because it's not going to work for the ladies. Um, I want to thank our guest Ray for coming on the show and ladies, you can, I'm sure, get his phone number. I'll put it on the website if he so yeah, chooses yeah. because Ray needs a little bit of help and maybe some of you have some advice for Ray and you can write into our blog and you can go ahead and sign, send us an email at www.lesbiannosebest.com. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time.